Hello and welcome back to another video. It is now the end of May, so that means another month of photos for you guys to see. But before this video starts, it would be great if you could all go and check out this video here. It's about the tattoo zine that I created for one of my university projects and the analytics are part of my final hand in. So if you guys could go and watch that, like it, throw some comments in there or whatever you want to do, that would be amazing. Now that that is out of the way, we can get into this video. This month has been really quiet when it comes to photos and I've primarily done written work and just getting stuff like fully ready for my final hand in. But I still have taken a few photos here and there and the first photos that I took were of my university lecturers for the yearbook that I have created. I've spoken about it many times before but for one of my university projects I have created a yearbook shot entirely on 4x5 film. I managed to capture every student's portrait apart from one person because they were away. But as my deadline was coming closer, I still needed to get my lecturer's portraits. I was originally going to do these on 4x5, but since I had such little time and I knew I needed to get these right straight away, I done them on my GFX. But the photos turned out really good and I'm glad I done them on my GFX since the colours are just to die for. I especially like the group shot that I done for all my lecturers, as these were the last photos that I needed for any of my projects and were therefore my last bits of work that I needed to do at university, it just felt like a well rounded way to finish my time there. I took these photos on the 1st or the 2nd of the month and I didn't take any more photos up until the 10th. In those 8 or 9 days I was pretty much just finalising my projects so I didn't really leave the house. But on the 10th, it was the third and final time I could attend the award show that my course puts on. It's called Press Awards, we have one every year, and it's just an absolute blast to go to, and it's just really fun. I had attended the two previous years, but I only entered my photos into the second year. But once again, I entered my photos this year, and I ended up getting an honourable mention, which was quite cool. Uh, that's sort of like the first thing that I've gotten from like this year and the, uh, the second year. So yeah, it was for my uh, it was for my tattoo project portraits, so just like a few of them. So yeah, very cool. Anyway, I've pretty much made it a tradition for myself to bring along my Olympus Mew each year and get some portraits of the award show and then afterwards. And I was really excited to do that this year as the lecturers gave us permission to come up with the themes and for third year we ended up going with like a 70s fancy dress theme. I'm sure I can find a photo, but this was me here. I was wearing double denim, a floral shirt, a ginger afro, and some shades, as well as some Doc Martens. I thought I looked quite good, and the lecturers actually said I'm, I would win, because uh, we had like the best dressed thing. And even though the lecturers said I'd win, and everyone was like, oh yeah, you, you, you're the best dressed out of everyone, I didn't win. So yeah, everyone said I got robbed. So yeah, you know, that's how it is. <laughs> But anyway, me and Jen ended up getting ready at our friend Caleb's house and I were getting this photo here. But then we ended up going to the venue and as it was our last time at the Press Awards, I wanted to commemorate it by getting a portrait of everyone in the third year that attended in their 70s fancy dress. So as the night was going on, I was getting a portrait of all of the third years and just some snapshots of some random stuff that went on. As the award show came to the end, I got a portrait of my lecturers in their costumes as well. They didn't really have a theme, they just turned up in whatever, and I think they just look amazing. <laughs> I also got a portrait of Anya, who won Photographer of the Year. Uh, she was in a previous video that I made about van life, and yeah, she won Photographer of the Year. And I also got a portrait of Matt, who pretty much just won or got an honor honorable mention or got runner up in pretty much like every category. Uh, he really smashed this year and he's actually released a book called Proper Pub, which um, I, I'll, if I can, I'll put a link to it in the description. 
it's really good like it's really high quality and uh, the photos are just amazing and yeah just full-on well done to matt for having such a good year but that was the end of press awards and i'm really surprised i didn't take more photos the previous two years i shot at least two rolls of film but this year i only took around 30 photos I think it was mainly because I was just focusing on having a good time, like I was just sat there enjoying the moment, rather than trying to get photos of everything and anything. However, I did still get some photos that I really like, and I'm very glad that I got at least one portrait of every third year that attended, I think that was quite a cool thing to do. Press awards usually marks the end of university, and although you can get an extended deadline, it's usually the last thing that happens in the year. A few days after press awards, I ended up handing in all my work, and it was soon to be Jen's 21st birthday. And since it was Jen's birthday and we had no more work to do, we just had a little break from everything. So we went up to Warrington to see Jen's family and just have a nice relaxing chill time. Before we left, I got a couple photos of my cat Scraggles, and then once we made it to Jen's home, I ended up finishing the roll of Kodak Gold that I had in my Olympus Mew. While we were up in Warrington, I also ended up bringing my GFX and the Mamiya 45mm f2.8 and also my X-T4. I wanted to create a video about the GFX and the Mamiya while we were up there, but I ended up needing to get some more photos as I didn't really have many. And since the lighting was lovely, me and Jen decided to go on a short walk and get some photos. I ended up getting seven portraits of Jen and the first four were taken in an area that had like direct light from the sun hitting her and while they looked good in person and looked good through the camera, once I loaded them up onto my laptop they didn't really look nice. Like the light was a bit too harsh and it just looked a bit weird. But the other four were taken in an area where the light was a bit more diffused thanks to the tree leaves and I love how these turned out. The lighting is just so soft and You scared the shit out of me, Scraggles. My cat has now decided to wake up and join me. He really scared me. Uh, he meowed out of nowhere. I completely forgot he was in here. There he is. Hello, boy. Here he is. Say something. Okay. No, do not then. The photos just make me want to use the Mamiya 45mm a lot more, and I'm planning to do so in the future. Jen also ended up getting two portraits of me on the GFX with the 45mm, and uh, she ended up missing focus as it is quite difficult to focus with this lens when you're focusing so close up. Even though it's f2.8, it still feels very, very shallow. However, it's not as difficult as the Miticon, which is just so nice to have. <laughs> Like I said at the start of the video, it was a quiet month for photos, and we're already at the last photos that I took this month. While they are at different days and different times, I may as well group them all together. While me and Jen were away, I wanted to get some more use out of my X-T4. Up to that point, I have taken maybe 10 photos with it, like I really haven't taken many whatsoever, and I've pretty much only used it for video, which is basically what the camera was meant to be, but I really like how it functions, so I wanted to use it more for photos. So I used it as I would my Olympus Mew. I pretty much just took photos of random stuff, mainly Jen because she's very pretty. But it was nice using this camera in this way as I pretty much used it as a point and shoot but had the ability to get more control out of it when I wanted to. While I primarily did get photos of Jen, we also ended up going to Blue Planet Aquarium and I got some photos of fish but I also got some more photos of Jen. <laughs> and I really like how the ones of Jen turned out, especially this one here. I was hoping to keep this photo in colour but the lighting was just way too blue and unflattering for it to even work, but it looks so nice in black and white. It makes me want to shoot more black and white photos, as I don't really do it very often. But like I said, it has been a quiet month for photos, so we are already at the end. Although it has been nice to have a break and not have to worry about getting work done in time for a deadline, it has made me quite bored. I like having deadlines as they make me feel inspired to shoot. It's partly why I like to put out videos each week, it forces me to do something at least once a week that is video worthy. Although to be fair, since me and Jen have got back, I have pretty much done nothing apart from play Fallout 4. 
but since we are now back with no deadlines and quite a bit of free time, I am planning on creating some videos with some equipment that I can get from the university stores before I can no longer use them ever again. And I have until the 21st of June to do that, so from now until then, I'm planning on shooting with a bunch of different cameras and creating many videos. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.